this particular restaurant serves as um, a community center. Um, I, I know people who've met here and gotten married. I met my wife here. My brother met his wife here. Um, I've made all kinds of friends and contacts that you otherwise wouldn't have. And it's the same for a lot of people in our community. All of the proposals that are, have, have pretty much come out of committee, the $15 an hour minimum wage, the paid family leave, the, the scheduling restrictions, um, all the additional taxes, the tolls, um, if even half of them get voted into law the way they're proposed, these businesses will, I don't know how we're going to survive it. Um, we are still recovering from the last minimum wage increase because we couldn't throw it at the customer all at once. We just raised our prices again. We try to stay six months to eight months ahead of the pricing curve, but we can't possibly, possibly do that um, with, with all these proposals. You know, we've worked at this for 30 years, and now I, I look at it and I go, how are we going to get out of this? How are we going to unwind this and even realize any value from our, our work and our investment? Um, my brother and I are looking at trying to sell everything right now. Yeah, it's, it sucks. I get a little emotional about that. So, in that 30-year period, we've employed a couple thousand people or more. We've collected millions of dollars in revenue for the state of Connecticut. I mean, this is, these are viable businesses. We just had our uh, first year anniversary. Um, we invested a million dollars into a new restaurant in Mansfield, and now I'm wishing we didn't. I, you know, I, when, when we were developing the model for it, none of this was written into it. Certainly there were increases in, in pay, but not all of this. So my brother and I are very frightened for our future in that regard because we owe a million dollars. And now we are very deeply concerned about this.